Yes, so there is uh, one week between uh, Val d'Alos and Les Alpes and we came here straight on Sunday. Uh, today they released the, the course and we are not uh, allowed to, to ride uh, the trail of the race. So with Ben we decided uh, instead of watching to the front all day, taking our bike and just having fun on easy track in the bike park. The first round of World Series went great. Uh, ended up with a top 10 finish, sixth place. Felt really strong. Um, did a lot of training in between. Uh, spent a lot of time in the Alps, doing a lot of switchback training to prepare for the uh, second round in Val de Alos, I think, Val de Alos? Yeah, in Val de Alos. Um, went into it with good intentions and uh, the first round kind of pedaled a bit too much and clipped a pedal and got sent on a little uh, cartwheeling ride down the hill. Smashed myself up pretty good, got knocked out, and uh, it kind of bumped me out for the whole rest of that whole rest of that race. But this week I feel a little bit better. Just physio straightened me out and hoping to be able to move my way back up through the ranking. You basically tried to rip my head off. He like, uh, I don't know, he, he cracked like every joint in my body. Tried to spin your head around? Yeah, he like grabbed my head and was like, <laughs> wasn't, it wasn't ideal, but it felt kind of cool. I think my worst crash, I was doing a race. You have to be with a partner, like together, and stay together all race. And we had like a, a step up. It was not on the race, but next to the track, but I did it in practice. Mm -hmm. So I jumped in during the race, but I was I went way far further and like start going yeah. on my front wheel and land on my chest. So no more hair. And, and uh, no more hair? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Cut my hair. Yeah. No, so what the hell did you land on? I just, no more hair. And I, I, I start sleeping on the tray. I was with GH. And, and then you I, run I, I, I slept. And he wait for me while he was slapping me yeah. to wake up. And when I when I woke up, I just grabbed my bag and said, go, 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 go. <laughs> and in my head, I thought he was like, just like going down and wake up straight. And he said, you slept for such a second. <laughs> and then I finished the race. And he just told me, yeah, okay, you're fine. And you slept for 30 seconds on the train. We rode all four tracks today, checked everything out, um, pretty much figured out our lines, and then we went back through after lunch and checked everything out once again, but a little bit higher speed and made sure we knew where we we're gonna have to put down power and where we we're gonna have to conserve and where we we're really gonna have to pin it. Should be a uh, fun weekend, the track's got a good balance, so I'm, I'm excited. So, <laughs> for the Fox diet, we're using a grip shift because it's quicker than a standard uh, lever. We use quite often the two modes. When they need to sprint, they can use the short travel and then all the energy go through the bike. And then when they hit long descent and a really rough terrain, they open and then they use full travel. So let me introduce uh, my first and uh, mechanic and he's still my mechanic for 15 years, Jose, my dad. And he's working on my bike uh, since the beginning, first sponsor and always there. He will follow me all year around the, the World Series. He comes uh, with my mom to Colorado and Whistler and uh, he's my main support and a part of my success for sure. It feels painful. Uh, like the first bit, it was on a green bike park track and uh, I didn't feel fast just like because you have to pedal all the way and I knew 
we had to pedal more after, so I don't know, I wasn't feeling good, but then when I saw Nico in the climb, it gave me some motivation and uh, I really like did the climb good. I see you following me and I say, yeah, I need to look good. <laughs> and, uh, and after that, I, I was able to uh, like uh, go faster when it was a bit flatter. And uh, I think I made good time there. And uh, on second stage, once again, it was technical and rough at the beginning. So I took it easy not to have a puncture or something, a mechanical. And then at the end, I, I pushed further. Uh, now we have done uh, the physical part of the, the race. Now there is two stages, really technical, really steep. So it's hard to go fast because you can crash really easily. And it, I will have to find a good reason to be fast and not crashing. So this is the, the goal for the, the race and I will try to, to stay in front. I have some Nico Vuyos. I think he already won some downhill race some in the past. So it could be fast, so I need to go I cannot relax, really. <laughs>